Okay, so the objective is to upgrade this laptop. It's a MacBook I purchased in the middle of 2007. It has an 80 gigabyte hard drive. And we want to upgrade it with this brand new hard drive from Newegg. It's a 250 gigabyte hard drive. And we don't want to copy all the data off to a time capsule. We have a time capsule, but uh, that will have to work over the network. It'll take a long time. I prefer to just clone the drive directly. And to do that, we're going to make use of an external USB 2.0 enclosure. We're going to put the new drive inside the enclosure, clone the disk from the uh, internal disk of the laptop to the brand new disk. When we're completed with that, we'll remove the, the disk from the enclosure, replace it, uh, put it into, install it into the laptop, remove the one that's inside, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to start up and continue just like nothing happened. We'll just have more space. Okay, so the first step to the process is to install uh, this hard drive, which is now unpackaged and ready to be installed, into the enclosure. And you got a screwdriver and some screws to complete the installation. Um, so first, we open the enclosure and you need to take off this little warning label that says the hard drive must be formatted, so we'll peel that off. Uh, this enclosure doesn't require any screws to install the hard drive specifically, it just fits into this controller board here. And uh, so we'll just slide that in. So now the hard drive is attached to the controller. Now we slip it inside the case. And so I can get this to fit. Okay. So the hard drive is basically ready to be used, but it needs to be screwed into position, um, which is probably not even necessary since we're only going to keep it in the enclosure for the duration of the hard drive clone. So now we can start the cloning process. Okay, now that we've installed the hard drive into the enclosure, I've gone ahead and plugged it into the MacBook and fired up a tool called SuperDuper. Uh, SuperDuper will clone our internal drive to the external drive and it's available for $27.95 from ShirtPocket Software uh, but the version that will just do the simple clone that we're looking for is free and that's what I'm using here. So we just plug that drive in, it's showing up as a drive called Untitled and you just tell SuperDuper to copy from Vault, which is the name of the uh, internal drive on the computer, to Untitled and use a script called Backup All Files. Uh, we're about nine and a half minutes into the process here but uh, it'll probably take another couple hours at least to finish the clone, uh, which is a lot faster than copying from uh, Time Capsule, but still got to allow a little bit of time for that. As soon as it completes, we can install the drive inside the laptop. Okay, the clone is complete. It took about 2 hours and 41 minutes. I'm just going to unplug this here. Uh, the laptop is now off, and we just want to get the hard drive the new hard drive that we've cloned all the data to out of this enclosure. So just separate it from the controller board here. And there it is, 250 gigabyte uh, Western Digital hard drive. That's what we're going to be installing. To do this, we need a dime. And then we're going to use that to open up the battery compartment. And we need a screwdriver. This is a star tip for our screwdriver. And we'll be using that to uh, change the bracket on the hard drive itself once we open up the machine. This is a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, which we'll be using for the bracket. And this is a knife. I might need that to pull the bracket out. Probably not, but we'll have it on hand just in case. So the first step is uh, we'll go ahead and flip this over and use the dime and open up the battery compartment. And you can see inside here, there's the bracket with the memory. And you've got to take out three screws to uh, make the bracket removable. So this is the bracket and uh, I'm just going to put that aside and this actually affords a better view of the upgrade area. Here's two memory slots with the uh, ejector arms for the memory and uh, on the other end of the upgrade socket is the hard drive slot with a little white pull tab. You just flip out the pull tab and go ahead and uh, pull on it and out comes the, uh, the old hard drive, the one that we just cloned. So you'll see a bracket here and I'll uh, just take the hard drive out of the br bracket this is where we use our star tipped screwdriver and uh, there's the four screws to remove it 
Uh, once we've finished removing it, go ahead and put it aside, take our new drive that we want to replace it with. Now the bracket has a covered side and an open side. You want to make sure the label on the hard drive is on the open side and that the connectors are faced away from the white pull tab. So that's how you want to orient the drive. Then screw back in the, the four screws to secure the hard drive to the bracket. And then we can actually uh, install the hard drive. So when you install the hard drive, you want to make sure that the white tab is folded underneath and that the connectors are on the other side going inwards. Go ahead and slide the hard drive in. Okay. Now all that's left to do, you want to reinstall the bracket. This can be a little bit tedious. You want to make sure the little pads on the bracket are out of the way as you screw it in to make sure the battery fits nicely when you put it back in the slot. You can just drop the battery back in, lining up the connectors, lock that back in place, and let's go ahead and turn this on, see if it's working. Okay, we're booting up. Got an apple, that's a good sign. And there you have it. Mac OS login screen, just like we left it, except this time we have more hard drive space. Thanks for watching.